How you doing this morning? My son showed me a video of the guy in the bagel shop going crazy and it reminded me of a story of me and my mother back when I was 20 years old. I did not, however, lose my mind in a bagel shop. What happened was we were at home. I was upset about something. I don't recall what it was and my eyes were welling up with tears and I reached out for my mother because I was going to fall out in a state of utter collapse and my mother backed up reached out a hand and said no and I was like what fresh hell is this this is my mother the comforter in chief how was she gonna tell me no I can't fall apart but she did and then she turned around to me and said Lynn and whenever she said Lynn like that I knew that she was about to tell me something I couldn't argue with but this is the way it was gonna be she said Lynn what we're going to do today is keep it together. I don't care what your problem is. I don't care who upset you. I don't care why you're upset. Whatever is wrong will not be helped by falling apart. So we're going to decide right now, before you tell me anything, that we're going to keep it together. I think all of society needs to take a new lesson in keeping it together. We keep it real a lot, but to me, I think real is keeping it raw and unregulated. Two-year-olds keep it real. We need to keep it intelligent. We need to keep it higher ground. We need to keep it in control. Doesn't mean take it. Doesn't mean roll over. It means don't go crazy. Don't fall apart. Don't lose your mind. It means, Lynn, or whatever your name may be. I'm just giving you the intonation. Keep it together.